Street Beefs family, what's up y'all face with ya? Man, it's been the month, the year, even the decade of ridiculous boxing matchups and boxing exhibitions, if you will. Um, we're seeing a lot of freak shows and fights that may not normally happen happening in the boxing ring. And I'm going to tell you something. The fight that happened tonight, Evander Holyfield and uh, Vitor Belfort, just changed a major opinion of mine. A major opinion. Um, and it changed it just like that. Because yesterday, this wasn't my opinion. That opinion is that uh, the question... Are these uh, these exhibitions, these big name exhibitions like the Jake Paul fights, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, are they bad for boxing? Up till tonight, I said no. I, I felt they were good. They brought attention to the sport, so on and so forth. But tonight changed my opinion on that to a degree. Here's why. You know, casuals, people that really don't understand combat sports and, and physical sports in general, see something like this and they say, this proves it. MMA is better than boxing. Or a good MMA boxer can beat a regular boxer. Not realizing that we just seen a man who was 59 years old who was losing fights 10 years ago. Okay, let's be clear. Vander was losing fights 10 years ago and was basically ran out of boxing because his skills had eroded so much. Now, that, you know, people that don't really understand how combat sports work could see something like this and... and start to believe the hype that boxing's overrated or MMA beats boxing or any number of things. It just can be a black eye for the sport of boxing when in reality, what we seen was that Evander Holyfield should have never been licensed to fight on any level. And guess what? I'm contradicting myself because as of yesterday, I felt, all right, let me start by saying it. I think that they were overly cautious with the fight. I don't think Evander Holyfield was hurt. I don't think he was going to get hurt. I'm going to be real with you. Um, I think he's been hit harder by harder punchers. But I understand why they stopped it. The people that sanctioned that fight, if they let Evander Holyfield get killed or, or severely injured in there, it's their ass. So Holyfield had to know. At your age, if you go in there and get in trouble, it's going to get stopped. So it's on him for not doing a better job. But with that said, I don't think Evander was hurt. I don't think this proves anything as far as MMA versus boxing, except that a 59-year-old boxer who's a bit punch drunk probably shouldn't be in the ring with anybody. Now, I do think that these, uh, these type of matchups can be bad for the sport. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the reason is what I stated. I think that it, it sends false messages. I think that it doesn't, you know, for people that are looking, well, what is, how does boxing and MMA match up with each other as far as in the boxing ring? Um, you're not getting that answered unless you're taking a prime MMA fighter versus a prime boxer and putting him in the boxing ring. Like Floyd Mayweather and uh, McGregor. That that was a good spectacle. Um, I don't think those are bad for boxing because it takes two prime athletes and puts them against each other. But when you're taking these fights, understand something, y'all. I believe Vitor was 15 years younger than Evander. And... I'm going to step out on a limb and say Vitor, who has a long history 
of using uh, testosterone therapy was probably on HGH. So not only did he have a 15-year youth advantage, he was probably chemically enhanced as well. And that's another reason these fights probably aren't good because I think there's a lack of testing. Um, you know, <laughs> anything else I would say would be speculation. What do I think if the two of them meet in their prime in the boxing ring? I think Evander washes him. I do. <clears throat> but we, we can't say that because it'll never happen. We just don't know. But I do know that if you think a 59-year-old punch-drunk Evander Holyfield is a representation of boxing, you're insane. Now, Vitor called out, I believe, Jake Paul. Um, hell, I'd like to see that one. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. You know, but if we're going to put Vitor Belfort, who's, if nothing else, a ferocious striker and a physical specimen, if we're going to put him in the ring to box, let's put him in with some guys that can fight, that are that are still capable. Not that can fight, that are still capable of fighting. Shit, let's get Lennox Lewis. Let's put Vitor in with Lennox Lewis. Even at Lennox's age, I'll take Lennox all day. You know, but... Evander is like nine years older than Lennox, if I'm not mistaken. He, he's at least seven, eight years older. So, and, and Lennox has half the, uh, not quite as much trauma as, as Evander. Evander's been in some serious wars. So, you know, if we're going to bring in a Vitor Belfort or somebody like that, you know, bring in somebody that's not punch drunk. And, you know, for me, I want everybody to be clear, I was dead wrong. I predicted that Evander would do well. I said there was a chance Vitor could beat him on points um, because of the youth factor. But Evander did a lot worse than even I expected and looked a lot worse. So I was wrong. I'll be the first to admit that. But if we're going to do these types of matchups, let's at least get people that are in the same decade as each other. Let's start with that. Questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks to all y'all that support Street Beefs, man. We love y'all. Peace.